Well, here we are again. My favourite pastime. Walking, far walking. Off these huge hills. <laughs> if you don't believe me about the hills, look at this here. Can you get the side of that hill? Quite a big hill. And we'll be walking all the way. See in the background? All the way around there. All the way around there. What? So, what have I got for you this week? This is Dick Klusky, founder of the Serious Writers Guild. Love of my life, I love helping people. In the music industry, I get a lot of pleasure from it. I always get lovely email questions. And keep them coming, I love them. I always think though, it's a pity the guys who are asking the questions don't use the blogs. Because it always looks good on the blogs. I never doubt. Answer the questions then. Right, I don't mind. As soon as I get the questions, they mostly come in on my email, which is deck at makeit.com. Now, oh, this is a big hill. First question I got asked was from Marvin. And Marvin has a curious situation. He bought the manual how to start a publishing company for less than 100 pounds. My promise is always that I will answer any questions. And you can ring me 24 seven, not in the middle of the night, please. And I'll answer any questions. He has one question. Well, a couple of questions, really. First question is, he wants to sign his first writer. He signed himself, obviously. And now he wants to sign his first signing. Immediately ran into a problem when filling in the PRS as a Performing Rights Society forms. It asks for the bank account details of the person who's signing. And he says the guy he's signing hasn't got a bank account. What's he do? My answer was very simple. I said, Marvin, all you have to do is call the PRS company. And by that, for you at home listening to this, looking at this, the PRS company in your home country usually ask for members' inquiries. They're extremely helpful. They're usually knowledgeable music people. And I can't emphasize that enough, extremely helpful. And I'm sure they will have that question many times. How does he get around the fact that his signee has not got a bank account? As a little codicil to that, I said to Marvin in the email, that would sort of ring alarm bells for me if somebody hasn't got a bank account. Maybe he's bankrupt. And there's nothing wrong with being bankrupt. You know, a lot of people just get up the next day, start their business all over again. Nothing wrong with that at all. But it's extremely difficult to conduct business once you've been bankrupt. It may be there is a junior. And in that respect, you'd have to be quite careful. You get into the realms of guardians and wards of court and all that sort of stuff. So that's an alarm bells as well. The other thing I said to him, I said, Marvin, you have got to act as if you are EMI Publishing. And I don't mean EMI, I mean any publishing company. Piers Morris, any huge publishing company, and you've got to act in the same way. In other words, first question you have to ask when you're signing somebody, is this person gonna make money for me? And Really what I mean by that, is this person going to make money for me easily? And if the answer is no, then it's going to be a lot of hassle. Because the failure rate of writers is quite high. And I would say you'd have to answer that very honestly. Is this writer going to make money for me? So there we have it. I hope that Marvin takes my advice and rings PRS. And I hope that he answers the question to himself. 
is this guy going to make money? Otherwise, what's the point? So there we are. This is Zek. I'm a little bit out of breath today. I think mainly because I tackled a very big hill in the first place. And now I'm just calming down. Put powering on <laughs> up another hill. You're not going to believe this. Look at where I'm walking now. Oh dear. Mm. See you next week. Bye.